Hi, my name is Lisa, and this is your beginner's alignment series for heart openers. So I love heart openers, and the key to remember with heart openers is in back bends, any kind of back bends, you wanna engage your glute muscles in your core to protect your lower back. Um, just because a lot of the times when we think of going up and over and giving so much, the lower back tends to overcompensate to kind of get that chest pushing up. And it's a good metaphor for life. Within opening your heart, you have to allow yourself to set boundaries, set clear boundaries and stay strong in those boundaries. So heart is being able to give and receive openly, but also in a balanced, healthy way. So with that, I'm gonna read a quote from The Mastery of Love. If you've been with me on this series so far, you may enjoy this. You have already mastered fear and self-rejection. Now you are returning to self-love. You can be so strong and so powerful that with your self-love, you transform your personal dream from fear to love, from suffering to happiness. Then just like the sun, you are giving light and giving love all the time with no conditions. When you love with no conditions, you the human and you the God align with the spirit of life moving through you. Your life becomes the expression of beauty of the spirit. Life is nothing but a dream. And if you create your life with love, your dream becomes a masterpiece of art. So that's what we're going to do. So if the backbending practice becomes challenging for you, I want you to do your best to set an intention based in a space of love, self-compassion, releasing judgment, no criticism, as if you're working with your best friend because you are your best friend in this practice. So let's begin in hero's pose. A little bit new. Hero's pose, you're just going to come to sit onto the heels of the feet. You may want to take a block and place it right underneath the sit bones. That also feels kind of nice, especially if you have tight tops of the feet like me. Now, if this is still way too uncomfortable, <laughs> then you can always come to sit in regular Sukhasana, so that easy seated pose or any pose that feels good for you. And I just want you to send both hands to the heart. And just take a moment to tune on in and breathe. <sighs> Take a moment to tune on into the body, tune on into your breath. Inhale, filling the belly with air, filling the chest with air. And exhale. Taking a nice big deep inhale into the body. And exhale. Last two breaths, inhale. And exhale. Begin to set an intention for yourself for this practice, and it could be absolutely anything based in the intention of love. And let's open this practice with one loud Om. Take a nice big deep inhale for Om. Om. open. Great job. All right, let's go ahead and come on to the hands and knees. And you may want to send those blocks. If you're playing with them, again, they're not necessary, but if you're playing with them, send them right in front of the yoga mat. Ground down through the fingertips and just come onto the knees and roll out the ankles because I know my feet are super tight and sometimes I need that rolling out. Send the shoulders over the wrists. The hips over those knees, draw the navel on in, curl the toes under. Take a nice big deep inhale, draw the navel on up, round in the upper back, chin comes towards the chest. And exhale, slowly come back to neutral tabletop position. Then take a nice big deep inhale, send the belly on down, send the heart through the window of the hands, roll the gaze forward and up, pressing into the fingertips. Nice spread across the collarbones. Exhale, tops of feet to the floor, round in the upper back, chin comes towards the chest. Twice more, inhale, send the heart through the windows of the hands, press into the fingertips, send that gaze forward. 
Exhale, tops of feet to the floor, round in the upper back, chin comes towards the chest. Last time, inhale, send the heart through the windows of the hand, press into the fingertips, send that gaze forward. Exhale, tops of feet to the floor, round in the upper back, chin towards the chest. And then go ahead, slowly come back to a nice neutral tabletop position. Bring the knees together, and then send the left hand right directly in front of those knees, right to the center of your yoga mat. Sweep the right hand on up, and then thread the right hand underneath the left side of the body. See if you can walk the left fingertips far forward. This may be a challenging posture for you, just because you're like, I can't get that shoulder blade down, and that's okay. Just keep reaching underneath that left arm. Two more breaths. Last big deep, inhale. And exhale. Go ahead, send the left hand right in directly in front of the face. And then inhale to sweep the right hand up. And then send the right hand to center. <laughs> sweep the left hand up. And then thread the left hand underneath the right side and then see how far you can walk the right fingertips forward. Taking a nice big deep inhale and exhale. And when you're absolutely ready, go ahead, slowly send the right hand directly in front of the face and sweep that left hand up and release it on down. Beautiful, let's come into your downward facing dog. So grounding down through the fingertips and the base of the knuckles, see if you can bring the feet hips distance apart. I'm gonna go ahead and walk my hands just a little bit further forward so my downward dog isn't so short. And see if I can really ground down through the heels of the feet, drawing the navel on in, smiling through the collarbones as well as the shoulder blades and firming the inner arms in towards one another. Taking a nice big deep breath in. Exhale. Last big deep inhale. And exhale. From here, see if you can send one forearm down to the yoga mat and then the other for dolphin pose. Now this is a really deep heart opener and if you need the blocks underneath the forearms or books or anything like that, you can go ahead Bring the forearms onto the block, blocks, interlace the fingers, and then send the sit bones nice and high. And that's just a more um, accessible way to come into the practice. But if you don't have blocks, and the elbows are lifting a little bit, that's okay. So stay with me for about two more breaths. Some pressing into the forearms, reaching the heels towards the back of the mat. Last big deep inhale. And exhale. Excellent. Release the knees on down. Come back into that nice neutral tabletop position. Curl the toes under, press up and back, find downward facing dog again. Great job. From here, send the left foot to center and then reach the right heel all the way up towards the ceiling, squaring the hips as well as the heart down towards the yoga mat. So there should be no lifting in that right hip. And then go ahead, draw the knee towards the heart space. Shift the weight forward so the shoulders come to hover over those wrists, grounding down, pressing the floor away, protracting in the shoulder blades. Then step that right foot in between the hands. Bring the left knee directly underneath the hip. So knee should be over the ankle and hip should be over the knee. Go ahead, see if you can send the right hand to the lower back. And we're gonna take a gentle twist here. Now, if we wanna go a little bit deeper, see if we can send that left elbow to the outside of the right knee, then bring the hands to prayer. <laughs> and see 
if you can work the thumbs towards the heart, now remember I spoke about that core engagement, draw the navel in and then see if you can use your core strength to send the heart towards the thumbs, gazing up towards the ceiling. Now, if that ankle is anywhere from underneath that knee, just go ahead and make sure you adjust so that the ankle is right underneath that knee. And then take a nice big deep inhale, side out. See if you can lift the left knee off the yoga mat. This is tricky. Firm the inner thighs in towards one another. Draw the navel on in. Keep working the heart towards the thumbs and then pressing that right hand down, working the thumbs towards the heart. You can gaze up or look forward or down if the neck hurts. Send that left heel over the ball of the foot. Great job. Last big deep inhale. Exhale, use your core. Same core strength from last time to sweep the hands on up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and straighten that right leg to let a little bit of that fire go. And then I'm gonna bend on into that, sorry, right leg. Then pivot the left foot down on a 45 degree angle. Line up heel to heel. By 45 degree angle, I mean that back left foot should be diagonally pointing. See if you can square the hips as much as possible in that warrior one. Remember that warrior, beginner's warrior sequence that we did. And if not, I can link that video down below. So interlace fingers behind you, send the shoulders away from the ears, draw the navel in, knit the rib cage together and down. As you send the thumbs down towards that yoga mat. Inhale, opening up, taking a gentle back bend, engage the glutes, draw the navel in, send the heart up. And exhale, send the heart to the inside of the right leg. Bring the chin towards the chest, send the hands up overhead. Great job. Grounding down through the feet, firming the inner thighs and towards one another. Last big deep inhale. Exhale, release the hands on down. Great job. Come up onto the ball of the left foot. Step the right foot to meet the left in your plank pose. Find that sit bone heel connection. Firm the forearms in towards one another. Take a nice big deep inhale. Exhale, shift the weight forward, bring the knees down. Slowly lower the heart in between the hands and then slowly come on to the belly, releasing the pelvis and the belly down towards the mat. Tops of feet to the floor. Firm the th inner thighs in towards each other and internally rotate the legs. Engage the glute muscles, send the pubic bone down towards the mat. Go ahead, see if you can interlace fingers behind you, melting the shoulders away from the ears, rising through head, neck, and chest, pressing the tops of the feet to the floor, chin towards the chest to elongate in the spine. Hold with me, inhale to rise a little bit more. See if you can really press down through the tops of the feet. Two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Last big deep inhale, exhale. Bring the hands to the heart, curl toes under, press up and back, downward facing dog. Great job. Taking that sequence again on the opposite side. So bring one form and down and then the other in your dolphin posture. Just breathe. Press into the fingertips, press the floor up and away through the forearms. The tailbone comes up nice and high. Draw the navel in. Take a nice big deep inhale here. Exhale. When you are ready, go ahead from here. See if maybe you can come up onto one hand then the other, come into your downward facing dog. And then inhale the left heel up towards the ceiling, squaring the hips and the heart down towards the yoga mat. Draw the knee in towards the heart, and then see if you can protract in the shoulder blades, almost like in that cat position, rounding, coming up onto the right ball of the foot. And then step that left foot in between the hands, releasing the right knee down underneath the hip. Coming to rise on up. Let's take that gentle twist. Send the right top of the hand to the side of that left knee. Left hand behind you, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist just a little bit deeper. Great job. So again, we're using that navel towards the spine to really get into that twist, and that's why we did the core video first. Last big deep breath here. 
sighing it out. See if you can send the right elbow to the outside of that left knee, and then the hands to prayer. Work the thumbs towards the heart, heart towards the thumbs. Hugging and firming the inner thighs and towards each other, pressing that left hand on down. Then see if you can send that right knee up off the yoga mat. You may not get there today, and that's okay. You can leave that down if you want. Two more breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale to draw the navel in. Exhale, twist just a little bit deeper into this stretch. And then use your core, maybe release the hands down if you fall out of it like I just did. But go ahead, sweep the fingertips forward and up. Great job. You can widen your stance as deeply as you wish. And then over time, you'll be able to pivot that right foot down on that 45 degree angle. Noticing I'm grounding down through the outside pinky toe edge of my right foot, feeling a nice stretch on the side of my hip. I'm or I'm sorry, the side of my ankle. I'm sending the left hip back as the right hip moves forward. I'm reaching the fingertips up in warrior one. Then I'm engaging the glute muscles, drawing the navel on in, firming the rib cage together and down, interlacing the fingers behind me, smiling through the collarbones and the shoulder blades. Inhale and exhale, send the heart to the inside of that left leg, reaching the fingertips up and over. Breathe. <laughs> See if you can send the energy of the feet in towards each other like they're magnets wanting to reach towards each other as you send the fingertips up nice and high. Two more breaths, inhale and exhale. Last big deep, inhale. Exhale, release the hands down. Hop up onto the ball of the right foot. Step back into your plank posture. I walk my feet back because again, sometimes you dance a little bit on the mat. I don't wanna be here. I wanna walk the feet back, drawing the navel in. Shift the weight forward in plank posture. Release the knees. Slowly lower the pelvis, the belly, and the heart in between the hands. Interlace fingers behind you and see if you can rise through head, neck, and chest. This time, adding a layer. Bring the tops of the feet off of the yoga mat in full locust posture. Maybe you can lift the hands up off of the glute muscles, sending the knuckles back, firming the inner thighs. Ooh, I know this is a lot. Stay with me. Inhale and exhale. Last big deep breath in. Exhale. Release the forehead down. Great job. One hand on top of the other. And chill wipe for the legs. The grand finale for our heart opening sequence will be our bow posture. So for bow pose, I sometimes advise students, if you cannot take a hold of the tops of feet or the pant leg, or if you don't have two straps to wrap around the ankles, I suggest that you roll onto your side. Let me move my mic for a little bit. So I suggest you come onto the side and then see if you could take a hold of that foot, drawing the knee in alignment with the ankle and just kind of staying there and breathing. Okay, and then we're gonna do two rounds of bow pose. So then for the second round, you just come onto the opposite side, taking a hold of that foot, drawing it in. So that's what you'll be doing as a demonstration. I wanted to do that if you're already doing it because you think that feels nice. Then go ahead, play with that right side or that left side. If you want to practice bow with me, take a hold of the feet, tops of the feet, or the pant legs, the forehead's down, bend the elbows slightly, press into the feet, tops of the feet into the hands, hands into the feet, and just rise, rise through head, neck, and chest. Part A. Once you've risen through head, neck, and chest, send the big toes towards each other, and then rise the tops of the legs off the ground. Last big deep inhale. Exhale, release. Great job. If you are taking a hold of that leg or that ankle, switch it onto the opposite side. We're going for round two of our bow posture. Take a hold of the pant legs, the tops of the feet, foreheads down. Maybe you just are rising through head, neck, and chest 
and this is where you're at today and you're gonna be compassionate with yourself and you're gonna say, this is where I need to be. If you wanna go deeper, keep rising through head, neck, and chest and then send the tops of the feet off the yoga mat. Firm the inner thighs and in towards each other. Last big deep inhale. Exhale. And then release it on down. Beautiful. <laughs> Windshield wiper. The knees from side to side. Send the hands to the heart. Take a well-deserved child's pose. Press it up and back. Take a moment of gratitude and self-respect and pride in all that you have done as we slowly move up the ladder from lower body all the way to balanced postures and then inversion practice, it's really challenging. You have to mobilize more muscles. But remember to always set an intention from the place of love, a place of compassion, living your life, and enjoying your practice from this place. Two more breaths. And when you are absolutely ready, let's go ahead and come to sit. We're ending this practice in one of my favorite heart openers. It's a little tricky, so we're gonna bring our soles of the feet together. Bring one block, and you could just watch me first. Bring one block onto medium height, and the other block onto the lowest position. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can send our shoulder blades onto that block. And I know my shoulder blades are on here because when I move my shoulder blades, I feel them pressing into the block. Then I'm gonna take the other block and just gently guide the top of my head onto it. Oof, this is really deep and it may be too much for you. So the other option is I invite you to remove the blocks all together. And if you don't have blocks, that's okay. And just come to lie on down. Send one hand onto the heart and the other one onto the belly. And that will be really luscious. And you may just want to come here even if you have the blocks. And you can just stay here with me. If you have the blocks underneath you, stay there. Enjoy the gentle back bend. Take a nice big deep inhale. And exhale. You did a great job. Take a moment to find some gratitude and peace for all that you have done and for all that you are doing. Breathe into the chest. Exhale, side out. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of all good things. You are worthy of compassion and self-respect. Thank your heart for its consistent pumping every day. Just allow yourself to be here, basking in your own self-love. You can stay here for as long as you wish, or you can close the practice with me by slowly inviting movement into your fingers, into your toes, rolling onto your side, and then pressing on up to your comfortable seated position, if you're ready. If not, you can continue to lie down. I thank you for practicing with me. I thank you for opening up your heart. 
I'm creating a masterpiece from a space of love, even if it's not the masterpiece you intended. You're perfect just as you are. You are worthy and you are more than enough. I'm sending you love and light. Om Shanti Shanti. Peace. Have an amazing rest of your day, night, week, or weekend. Namaste.